come with me to a place of wondrous contradictions. A place that is silent and unstirring, yet restless and alive. A place of untold peace and boundless dread. Come with me into the very cradle of darkness, where those who dwell, dwell alone. Since the beginning of time, man has been obsessed with fire. Those who could control it were admired and revered, but as comforting as fire can be, it is often merciless and destructive. Any attempt to tame the beast means walking a tightrope between the warmth of the living and the cold of the dead. County. VN-18, ETA seven minutes. VN-18 and Lieutenant Messick. You still on break? Copy that, Captain. Have Cartera grab my gear and I'll meet you at the site. you big time. If it wasn't for you, he'd be toast. Just doing my job. Yeah, we'll keep playing superhero and all that retirement talk won't be an issue. Gold watch is already engraved, partner. I mean it, Jake. If the BC gets wind of you saving that kid, there's no way they're gonna force you out. Andale, amigo. My wife's got dinner waiting. Yeah, I'm coming. Cloudiness tomorrow, sticky and humid with a high of 90. Penny for your thoughts. Keep it. Another few days and you'll be living on a fireman's pension. Jake, stop doing this to yourself. We'll make it work. Louise, I've been fighting fires for 20 years. It's all I know. They take that away from me, I might as well be six feet deep calling a pine box home. Anybody with half a brain knows you deserve more, but sometimes things don't work that way. Lieutenant Jake Messing is the most dedicated firefighter this county's ever had. Trust me. In six months, they'll realize what a stupid mistake they made. If I could just convince them that I'm not some old field horse ready for the glue factory. Hey. By the way, I saw my homeless friend again today. That's the third time this month. Smiling wacko, shows up every damn blaze. Must have a thing for fires. He isn't real, Jake. You know that. Do I? You're exhausted. You're under a lot of stress. 
Sweetheart, everything will be all right. You'll see. I have 13 days to save my career or I can kiss it all goodbye. superhero and all that retirement talk won't be an issue. I have 13 days to save my career or I can kiss it all goodbye. Lieutenant Jake Messing is the most dedicated firefighter this county's ever had. I spent 20 years fighting fires, Louise. That's all I know. Someone who just wants to help. What do you say we get down to business? Well, those fires just waiting to be set. Wood frame storefronts, shingle colonials chemical plants, high-rise death traps with faulty wiring. It's almost too easy. What exactly do you want? I want you to get the recognition you deserve. Enjoy the view, head case. I've got work to do. I admire you, Jake. You tried to take control of your destiny. Problem is, these little fires of yours just couldn't do the trick. Too little, too late. That's where I come in. I don't understand. How do you know? I know a lot of things, Jake. I know you'd do anything to keep facing the Red Demon, no matter what the cost. I never put anyone at risk. Your colleagues were always in danger, Jake. But life's full of risks, isn't it? What if I could make you the hero of the department, guarantee you another 10 years on the job without a scratch? Think how happy your wife would be. What's in it for you? A simple trade-off. If there's two lives at stake in a fire, you get one and I get one. 
everything has its price. I hate to smoke alone. Who is he? What do you know about him? What's to know? He says he can postpone my retirement. Come on, Jake. You've already been through the union. What could he possibly do that nobody else can? Lou, he says he could help me out. What do I have to lose? <laughs> he must want something in return. That's a huge promise. He wants me to keep doing my job, and that's it. Do you trust him? I don't think I have a choice. You're gonna be okay. here to congratulate you on a job well done. Top-notch work. Uh, permission to speak freely, sir. Jake here deserves all the credit. Saving that little girl was one of the most heroic acts of bravery I've ever witnessed. Rumor has it flames can't touch you lately, Lieutenant. Power of positive thinking, sir. Still, I'm sorry we didn't get to the girl's mother in time. You did the best you could. You get one, I get one. Everything has its price. Keep up the good work, Lieutenant. I plan on talking to the BC as well as the Deputy Commissioner. Who knows what the future might hold for a firefighter of your caliber? Phone call for Lieutenant Messing? Must be the press. <laughs> Hello? Power of positive thinking. That's one way to put it. Why are you calling me here? Is that any way to talk to a business partner? Not now. But let me keep it short and sweet. I've added something new to the menu. A situation that will close our little deal. A way to guarantee that promotion you deserve. Company 56, engine 11, company 118, apartment building fire, Damon Park. Word is mother and a newborn are trapped inside. What about window access? Room underneath is consumed. Windows hot. 20 flights down is a long way. Shake and bake. Crib's gonna blow. You up for it? Hey, as long as I got you, I'm golden. But let's do it.
bed a little bit late. Sweetheart, it isn't your fault. Dominic died in the line of duty. He died because I was too busy looking out for my job to be looking out for my partner. Don't do this to yourself, Jake. You're stronger than that. I got you, I'm golden. Bravo, Lieutenant. Job well done. Get the hell out of here. Why so glum, Jake? You're finally gonna get what you deserve. The commendation, the promotion. Smile. My partner is dead because of our little arrangement. Individual selection was never part of the bargain. I ought to snap your neck right now. I give and I give, and this is the thanks I get. The deal's off. I quit. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm afraid there's no escape clause in our agreement. Our agreement's null and void. It's over. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Get out. Get out. A shame. We could have made beautiful music together. Get out! I've attended two dozen department funerals. It never gets any easier. Jake. It's no secret that you and Dominic were real close. He was like a brother, Captain. And a damn good fireman. Dom was convinced that you remained with our department. He always supported me. We don't disagree. Lieutenant, after 20 years of service, it's my privilege to inform you that you've been promoted to the rank of Captain First Class. The BC wants you to have your own company. Captain, I... Sorry, sorry, I can't. I'm afraid I don't understand. I can't be a firefighter anymore, sir. Look, you're upset, Jake. It's all over. You've lost a friend, but, but think about what you're passing up. I know exactly. One eighteen. Hold on. It's for you. Messing. If I were you, Jake, I'd get home fast. The place looks like hell. fighting fires, and now you've gotten your wish. You'll be fighting them, Jake, forever. Some bow out of their careers gracefully. Others struggle to stay in the game. Jake Messing refused to accept his fate and ended up with a little more job security than he bargained for. <laughs> 